CBS News legal analyst Lisa Bloom joins us from Los Angeles to talk about this. Lisa, first things first, how much will the autopsy depend on what kind of charges are brought? Well, it's absolutely critical, Harry, because the question is, did the father die from a heart attack, as the mother told the police, at least initially, or did he die because Mark Kerrigan put his hands on his father's throat, as he says, his father then fell to the floor and shortly after that died. So the cause of death is critical. That's what the autopsy will de determine. And how much will this then depend on the cooperation of Mrs. Kerrigan? Well, it's critical that she cooperate. She has to. She's already give, given one statement to the police that she believed that her husband died of a heart attack. Mm -hmm. She was there in the house. Presumably, she's got information about what happened. But there's also other evidence, Harry. I've read the police report. Three pictures fell off the wall right. and were broken. The phone was broken. Mark Kerrigan was combative and uncooperative to the police. He smelled of alcohol. So the police have some direct evidence of a struggle as well. It's a complicated story. This is clearly a troubled man. He was on meds for PTSD, apparently. These parents seemed like they were trying to do the best for this guy, and it looks like from appearances that he turned them. Well, it does. And the other question is whether he has some kind of mental incapacity defense. It seems from the police report that he was under the influence of alcohol. Yeah. We don't know about the meds. They certainly have been suggested. We know that he had served time in prison. He right. told the police he'd been in prison for four years. So all of that is going to come into to right. play as a defense attorney analyzes this case. Lisa Bloom, thanks so much. Do appreciate it.